Hey everyone, my white go-karts contest has uh, just ended and we've uh, everybody has voted and we've uh, collected the results and in this video I will show you uh, all the entries and how, how well they uh, scored. Well, we had uh, even more entries than in the River Rapids contest so I'm really happy with that and everybody who voted, almost everyone uh, also left reviews. So yeah, the participation is great, many people voted. So uh, I'm also excited to start the next round in a few days. Anyway, let's just quickly go through all the entries and see how well they did. Also, by the way, if you want to see these, uh, these parks for yourself, um, on my Discord server you can uh, download all of these in the, in the archive. So, let's uh, get on with this. Okay, uh, in last place we have this uh, entry made by uh, Pizza Pants. Uh, I sadly had to uh, subtract uh, a, small, uh, a small amount of the score because there's a split in the track and in the wide go-karts contest the point was to have the kart tracks uh, next to each other all the time, just like, as if it was one track. So yeah, there were two other entrants who did this as well. But yeah, I wanted to uh, reward everyone who, uh, who really followed all the rules. So the entries that didn't uh, do this, I subtracted uh, half a point from their final score. So it's not too much, but uh, just enough to be uh, <laughs> to be uh, annoying. So yeah, for the people who got a penalty, just uh, next next time, just please uh, try to follow the rules. Anyway, um, well, this uh, this entry looked a bit uh, rushed. These uh, these buildings probably could have used a roof, so yeah, it scored quite a bit lower than uh, the rest. Could have used some more uh, some more effort, care, and uh, detail. So yeah, here we have the entry made by a Dirt Dog. He made this nice and uh, simple go kart track. It's really a big uh, pile of asphalt with the go kart track really uh, lined by uh, tires. Nice barrier around it with a monorail track and a steeplechase on top. It's just uh, simple but uh, but effective. Some nice uh, little rides around it, some shops and stalls. Here's a monorail cycles track. So yeah, like I said, just uh, just really simple, but uh, kind of nice. So yeah, great job, and uh, I hope you learned a lot from this uh, contest. Oh, here we have the next entry uh, by Timidator. He made. He was one of the first to uh, to finish in this round. I think. Uh, well, the go kart track. It's really a grid. I think it could have used some more variation in the in the track. And also these parts. Uh, yeah, just look like they instead of these uh, these grid tiles. It could have used some uh, details, maybe some forest or stuff. So yeah, it's a bit uh, it's a bit repetitive, and that's probably why it uh, didn't score that well. But yeah, these grandstands, uh, they are at least ki kind of nice. And also, uh, I like how we use the flying saucer track for the for the go-kart track. So yeah, uh, next time just try to focus a little bit more on detail. And then we'll probably score a lot better. Alright, here we have the next entry. Uh, there's a nice little uh, village here. Um, <laughs> so with some nice landscaping, a mountain here with ice on top. The problem with this uh, entry... Well, you can see it here, is that every time I open it, these go-karts crash here at, the, crash here at the point, this point. I don't know why it happens, but uh, it happens every time, so that's uh, unfortunate. Okay, here we have the entry from Misik93. Uh, not much detail to the track, but uh, what I do like is how fast these go-karts go. Probably hit some uh, chain lifts on the, on the track, so yeah, they go uh, really fast. Some uh, some simple buildings next to the track here, a uh, little grandstand. Uh, what I like most is uh, actually this uh, barrier that he made with the Giga track. It's actually a sloped uh, sloped curves. I think that works uh, really works uh, quite well. But yeah, he uh, it probably could have used some more stuff uh, to look at in this uh, in this area. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Z. <laughs> She made this uh, this go kart track. 
Uh, this area I really like with the grandstands, the, the station for go-karts. This uh, area is just uh, decorated really well. So I like the colors on the, on the barriers and the tires next to the track. But I wish the rest of the land also got that same, uh, same attention to detail. And that sadly is not the case. But uh, yeah, other than this, uh, this area looks, uh, looks really promising. I wish uh, this area was, uh, was expanded on. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, It's Just Curtis. He made this uh, dirt track. Uh, what I like most uh, about this uh, entry is actually the dolphins here in the water. I think it's a jet ski uh, ride from one of the expansions. And he actually put them underwater, which is uh, quite cool. Maybe it would have been fun if uh, if they jumped out of the water at some point. But yeah, he also made this, uh, this uh, train track here. In the beginning there was a train driving around, but uh, players were only allowed to have one extra track ride, so he decided to keep the dolphins instead of the trains. So yeah, I, the, I think the dolphins were the nicest part about this. Here's the entry from uh, Brothers XD. He was one of the last people to finish in this round. Uh, Why well, he made this uh, this road here, or maybe it's in the yeah, it's it's just a road. <laughs> A highway, I guess. There's actually barriers here on the road, and the go-karts uh, drive around those. I really like the barriers with the yellow and black colors. That's a nice touch, and some cool, uh, some cool buildings here. But yeah, nice entry. I'm not really sure if these uh, cars uh, work well, but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it looks nice. Now here's the entry from uh, O'Calhoun. Uh, I sadly had to subtract uh, half a point because it didn't really follow the rules exactly. There's uh, some uh, splits in the in the track, but other than that, this is a really unique entry. Uh, these go karts just uh, circle, well, they, they just swerve uh, around the track. Also with these uh, monster trucks, uh, let me quickly disable uh, breakdowns. So yeah, they really swerve around the tracks between the between the monster trucks so yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's really unique what i like most about this entry is all the plants these uh, all the trees and the plants and the, the berry trees it all just works really well and it's uh, really nice to look at some of the best uh, foliage work uh, i've seen in quite a while so yeah really great stuff and i hope to see more from uh, okalhoun in the in the future great job Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Tom Knarren. <laughs> um, there's really a go-kart track on this uh, on this uh, land, but it's mostly hidden by scenery. So yeah, that's uh, that's actually why some people scored him a bit lower because they actually had trouble actually finding the go-karts. It's just part of uh, Tom's style to uh, build really dense. And I really wonder how long it uh, it took to make all this. But yeah, it uh, definitely makes it uh, makes it very unique. So uh, great job, Tom. Okay, here's the next entry from uh, Beth the Dork. Beth placed uh, last in uh, in the previous round, but made a great improvement in uh, in this one. So yeah, this is a nice nice little town where uh, I think every year there's a go karts contest. At least that was the story. And then uh, the go karts actually get to drive around on the streets. So yeah, there's all these uh, nice little houses here and sidewalks next to the next to the road. What I like most here is this uh, big bridge, also from one of the made with parts from one of the expansions. So yeah, I really like uh, the way this looks. So great, uh, great improvement. This is the plot made by uh, Yi Bagun. So yeah, lots and lots of uh, track texture in this uh, in this in this entry. Uh, what I like uh, most here is these uh, buildings. They look nice and uh, colorful. It's a mix between normal scenery and scenery from the expansions. I think it works quite well. Also quite a nice uh, station building here. So yeah, these uh, go-karts uh, follow a uh, really hard to, uh, to follow track uh, all around the land. That's uh, quite nice. And they even go underwater for a bit with these uh, underwater pipes here right next to each other. 
So yeah, it's all just uh, just really nice to watch. I think he probably could have used a different colors for, for, for this bridge rather than the standard Giga Coaster colors. But yeah, other than that, it's just uh, lots and lots of uh, great stuff here. So like I said earlier, you can download these uh, maps if you want to look at them for yourself. There's just uh, too much to show here for uh, for this video because there are 26 uh, entries. Okay, here's the entry made by Lycos uh, Gen. Lycos Gen made this uh, pier. What I really like is this uh, shadow effect he made under it. There's also a coaster on top of it. I think it's based off a real coaster. I think I saw a coaster on a pier that was yellow and uh, was basically just two spirals and a bit of track between them. Someone in the comments can probably uh, give me the name of that, uh, that coaster. Anyway, what's uh, unique about this entry is that they actually used two synchronized uh, go-kart tracks next to each other rather than uh, one go-kart track that loops around uh, twice. He did it by using one of the unknown ride types and then uh, that one actually allowed for uh, synchronizing uh, stations. So yeah, that's why uh, he could have a huge amount of uh, cards here. And I, I really like it. But yeah, like I said, the thing I like most is this uh, shadowy effect he made under the pier by using this uh, darker scent. So yeah, really nice job. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Swag Diddy's. Um, sadly, I had to, had to subtract a half a point, but uh, yeah, he chose to uh, have a split in the track and to keep it just for uh, because he liked it more. But yeah, I also really like this uh, this thing he made. You can see the template he used uh, here. So yeah, he recreated these uh, mini golf holes, but uh, in a huge uh, format. And he used the monorail track, for example, to uh, yeah to make the the round the curved parts. But yeah, this is a really a really nice work. I really like how we uh, how we copied those uh, mini golf tracks. The story was also really really funny. But yeah, if you want to read the story, uh, you can also find a link to the folder with all the entries and also the stories uh, on my Discord. Okay, here's the entry made by uh, Wacked. Well, it was actually one of my uh, favorite entries of the round. Uh, it's technically just uh, just really well done. I really like uh, all the track architecture that's on here. The buildings uh, look really good. I think what kept most people from scoring this higher was just that it's pro there's probably a little bit too much uh, asphalt. Probably could have done with uh, yeah, a little bit less and some more details uh, around the track. But yeah, all these uh, buildings and all the stuff around it just looks uh, so good. I wish there was a little bit more of it. But yeah, definitely hope, uh, can definitely can't wait to uh, see your entry in the next round. Great, great job, and this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, here we have an uh, entry from someone who uh, recreated uh, Monaco. If you look carefully, you can actually see the shape of the Monaco from Formula One circuit uh, in here. So here's the here's the start somewhere around here. Then uh, here's the casino. What's funny is that when you watch in the casino, you can actually see all these uh, cash machines. Slot machines, as they are called here. And he also made these uh, roulette or uh, whatever game that is uh, tables. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's what I like most about this uh, entry. But yeah, other than that, everything just looks uh, looks really nice. So uh, great, great stuff. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Techno Witch 0031. <laughs> he made this uh, go kart track here. I think it was in. in uh, chemical facility or something. So yeah, this big uh, factory building here. That looks uh, pretty cool. And what I like most about this plot is how he used the black uh, path to make the the track for the go-karts. I don't think, I don't think uh, anyone else did that. And I also had never tried it before, but it actually looks uh, really good. So yeah, that's something I, I didn't think of. Other than that, yeah, the plants are really nice and everything is just uh, really nice to look at. So yeah, great, uh, great stuff. 
Okay, here we have uh, my entry. You could already see it a bit in the, the beginning. I made this uh, simple uh, go-karts track with a brown tarmac and a bit of uh, dirt, some bridges over the river. I made some uh, some buildings here in the in the jungle, and of course this uh, this big inverted uh, roller coaster that goes uh, all around the all around the land. Uh, the roller coaster goes through some uh, ruins here. There's uh, several big uh, inversions, some tunnels. And I'm really happy with how this worked out. I also put some custom supports here on the on the lift hill. So yeah, I'm really happy with uh, with how the coaster worked out. So here I made some uh, some ruins for the for the station, and yeah, I don't really know uh, what else to say about it. Other than that, I'm really happy with uh, the way it worked out. I'm also happy with the plants. It's a bit uh, spammy, maybe, but uh, I think it uh, works quite well. So yeah, really happy with uh, how this uh, worked out. Okay, here we have a very unique entry from uh, Mamarias. <laughs> Marias uh, made this uh, go karts track in uh, space. Well, he used a trick I showed in one of my tutorials, uh, which is this uh, this maze. So basically, by using maze pieces, you can actually get uh, a floor that's uh, just uh, completely black, just like the outside of the map. Of course, you don't see that here on the edge. But yeah, and, uh, he put in these. Uh, I think these marching uh, objects here to uh, to make uh, stars. So yeah, that's a, that's a really cool trick. Another really cool trick that he used is that uh, he put these dot jumps here right on the track. As you could see, uh, <laughs> actually go karts that uh, that touch them they actually get uh, get stopped, so they collide with the bumper tracks. So yeah, that, that's a that's a really cool trick that he uh, that he used here. Um, I think it looks a bit uh, empty in some spaces. That's probably why it didn't score uh, higher. But uh, other than that, this is just this is just a really unique entry, and uh, I love that. So yeah, definitely hope to see more from uh, Mamarias in the in the future. Thank you for uh, for joining and great work. Now here we have the entry from Wizard IRL. This was actually uh, my favorite. Uh, Entry of the round. We have this really nice uh, go kart track with, uh, well, technically very well done. The barrier, nice barrier around the track, also with tires. And there's, of course, this big coaster here in the middle that uh, gets launched up, up the top hat, then uh, travels uh, through, the, through the entire land. Sort of reminds me uh, of a mix between. Uh, uh, a track like the Donpa and uh, maybe something like uh, King Daka, for example, or any other accelerator uh, ride. But yeah, like I said, this is my uh, was my favorite ent entry of the round. It's really great track texture all around the plot. Also, I love this uh, carousel here in the middle. This just looks uh, really great. So yeah, great work. Uh, I wish this uh, would have scored a little bit higher. But sadly, I'm not the only one to vote, and I'm not the only one uh, that has to be impressed. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Ayrtont. Well, I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly. Uh, just a really nice circuit here, and I love these uh, grandstands that were made here. I guess this is the VIP area here. So, some more grandstands here, with an impressive roof uh, above them. Some more uh, stages here. Uh, again, I love the roof that was made here, just with lots of uh, curves in it. Some really nice barriers here, with a suspended coaster track on top. I don't think anyone else, uh, I don't think I saw anyone else uh, do that on top of their monorails. So yeah, that's a really cool trick. I should probably uh, use that sometime. What I like most about this plot is this uh, bridge, this wooden bridge here with the arches. That just looks uh, looks really nice. So yeah, great job. Also, uh, this uh, structure is really cool. It's one of these enterprise rides with a bobsleigh track around it and some more track on top. Just uh, yeah, I think uh, this person loves uh, track texture. Yeah, really great uh, entry. 
No, now we get to fifth place. This is awesome entry. I rate it really highly. This is uh, made by Satan's Camaro. And yeah, this uh, I really like this uh, race track. Well, the track itself has a simple uh, shape. As you can see the go-karts go uh, really fast on these uh, straights. Also again, uh, chain lift uh, shenanigans. I really love the grandstands, they look uh, really good. Also, uh, what I like is how the guests here walk. Uh, well, for lots of the path here, the actually a ride base from a launched free or from an observation tower was used. You may recognize it. That's uh, really, uh, really nicely done. And also there's a golf course here that goes around and uh, also in the middle of the track here. So yeah, really, uh, really good entry. I love it. Now in fourth place we have this entry from uh, Julia Mild. Julia Mild made this uh, this go kart track, which is actually a reference to uh, Back to the Future. The track's actually called the DeLorean uh, Deluxe. These uh, go karts they actually teleport through uh, parts of the track to other areas. And sadly, I have to admit uh, that I have never seen uh, the Back to the Future movies. Well, not that I remember, at least. So I don't get uh, many of the references. But probably the people who did get the references, they uh, all scored this uh, this uh, track really highly. But other than that, these, uh, these buildings look uh, really nice. And it just looks uh, really good overall. I especially like this, uh, this uh, parking lot. That looks uh, pretty cool. Also, all the track texture uh, was named after quotes uh, from the movie. So I guess that's also uh, quite cool. But yeah, great entry and uh, hope to see more from Julia Mild in the, in the future. Now here we have uh, the entry that got third place. This one was made by uh, Mackett. And what you can immediately see in this map is the great landscaping. I love this uh, river escape. Also with some nice, well yeah, it's a nice canyon, nice uh, waterfall here. And what I might like most here is the, these bridges. These bridges just look uh, look really good. They're really uh, pleasing to the eye. Other than that, these fences also look nice. And what I really like is how these uh, suspended monorail uh, or this mini suspended uh, coaster was used to make these diagonal parts of the fences. That's a really uh, clever trick. Now, there is a small split in the track here, but I did allow uh, splits in the track near the station because that's uh, how it's also often done in uh, real go-kart tracks. So yeah, there's a pit uh, lane here right next to the station. So that's also a, a cool trick. Nice uh, station here. And yeah, just uh, just really great uh, landscaping. I think the go-kart uh, go-karts work really well here. Okay, here we have the track that got second place. This one is made by uh, Spons. Uh, Spons recreated an, uh, an old uh, castle that exists uh, in real life. I forgot the name of the castle, but it sounded very, uh, very German. And there's also, of course, a go-kart track that travels uh, first uh, uphill up to the castle, then actually drives through the castle here. And then it pops out again here uh, to the side before it returns to the station. It passes under some of these bridges and there's also some uh, bridge here in the background with some uh, waterfalls and uh, yeah, especially the landscaping uh, and the castle, they all look really nice. So many people rated this uh, very highly. I actually scored it a little bit lower. I really like the castle, but I really wished the go-kart track would have received the same amount of attention as the castle itself. But yeah, I'm not the only one uh, you have to impress in these rounds. And most people uh, liked this uh, this uh, this entry a lot, so it got uh, got a well-deserved second place. So great job, Spons. Now on to the entry that got first place. Here's the entry that got first place. This one is made by uh, Hank the Super Nerd. Well, he often scores uh, quite highly in uh, in my contests and uh, multiplayer and this round is no exception. Uh, he also recreated uh, Monaco 
and there's just uh, so much going on on this uh, on this entire land. I love how the go karts actually race on the top of the of, of the road, just like in the real circuit. Oh, yeah. And also, it's just uh, really crowded here with uh, with people. There's uh, jet skis going around in the harbor. Lots of uh, boats from the one of the expansions. I don't remember uh, which one. Just many, uh, many nice uh, buildings here. But yeah, this uh, just a really great entry, and I can see why it got uh, first place. Really nice job. All right, that was it for uh, for this round. Uh, if you want to join the next uh, contest, oh, the contest usually starts at the beginning of the month. To join, uh, you have to uh, be a member on my uh, Discord. The link is in the description. Well, and uh, also uh, details about the next round will be uh, revealed on the coming Monday, the 1st of uh, April. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, this uh, video. I really liked the amount of participation in this round, the amount of people that, uh, that voted and wrote uh, reviews. And I hope to see uh, such good participation again uh, in the next round. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the, in the next round. See you later!